The number of deaths from fungal diseases has doubled in a decade. Fungal infections account for 3.8 million deaths annually, and in 2012 it was approximately 2 million. This is almost a doubling in a decade, and the figure represents approximately 6.8%. All deaths in the world. A recent study conducted by the Manchester Fungal Infection Group at the University of Manchester and published in the journal Lancet Infectious Diseases found that deaths from fungal diseases have almost doubled worldwide since 2012. Estimates from over 10 years ago indicated approximately 2 million deaths annually worldwide from fungal infections. Recent findings put the number at approximately 3.8 million deaths. This accounts for approximately 6.8% of all deaths worldwide. For comparison, coronary heart disease is responsible for approximately 16%. All deaths in the world. And stroke contributes to approximately 11% deaths. Although the diagnosis of fungal diseases has improved significantly over the last 10 to 15 years, both access to tests and their actual use are limited, and not only in low-income countries, points out David W. Denning from the University of Manchester, author publications. These estimates are based on data on the burden of disease in individual countries and globally for the years 2010 to 2023. In their work, the scientists also reviewed 85 scientific publications on this topic. Researchers' findings suggest that over 6.5 million people suffer from invasive fungal infections annually including over 2.1 million from invasive aspergillosis, 1.8 million from chronic pulmonary aspergillosis, 1.5 million from blood infections with candida fungi or candidiasis, 500,000 for pneumonia caused by pneumocystis GROVC and 194,000 for cryptococcal meningitis. The review also estimated that fungal asthma affects approximately 11.5 million people annually, of which 92,000 deaths from asthma are related to fungal allergy. Candida infections are one of the causes of sepsis. They are also linked to diabetes or kidney failure, or both and may become apparent after major surgery or trauma. This fungus is a normal part of the gut microbiome, but when we are seriously ill, it enters the bloodstream through the gut wall. According to Denning, current research detects only 40% life-threatening candida infections. The mortality figures are higher than previous estimates of about 2 million deaths a year. In part because many fungal infections exacerbate diseases such as leukemia, cancer and AIDS, and deaths are often attributed to the underlying diseases. This also applies to pneumonia and tuberculosis. Moreover, Many fungal diseases remain undiagnosed and untreated, due to limited access to diagnostics. The most important deadly fungi are Aspergillus fumigatus and Aspergillus flavus, which cause lung infections. Affected people include people with lung diseases such as asthma, tuberculosis and lung cancer but also people with leukemia, transplant recipients and people in intensive care. Many of these people die because doctors do not diagnose them with a fungal disease or diagnose it too late. 
but many deaths also result from slow or no diagnostic tests and the lack of effective antifungal drugs, Denning admitted in the conversation. Denning also noted that antifungal resistance is increasing, as is antibiotic resistance. Spraying crops with certain types of fungicides significantly increases the rate of resistance to a class of antifungal drugs known as azoles, Denning said. This especially applies to infections with Aspergillus fungi. Infections that are resistant to antifungal drugs are difficult to treat and can be life-threatening. According to the American CDC, the risk of death from azole-resistant Aspergillus fumigatus infection is as much as 33%. Higher compared to patients who can be treated with azoles. Fungal diseases will remain with us. We are surrounded by fungi. They live in our insides and on our skin. There are no vaccines for fungi. Severe fungal disease occurs when people are already sick. With rare exceptions in healthy people and people living or working in moldy homes or work environments. That is why accurate and timely diagnosis is so urgently needed and why we must take fungi very seriously, Denon emphasized.